Hey, it's Steve Overton here with Zenco Consulting. In this short video, I'm going to show how to visualize and report scenario efficacy using SAS Visual Analytics. And the story here is that I'm an AML manager and I want to understand how effective my scenarios are. So on the left-hand side here, you can see I've got a line graph which shows the efficacy rates for particular scenario categories over time. In prior months, you can see it bounces around a lot while I scroll to the right here and see that in more recent months, things are starting to level out still not as effective as, as they were in the past for particular categories. I can hover around, I can highlight different objects on the, on the report, and you can see the objects on the right will update. What I can do here is, let's say, if I want to go back for a particular month or period of time, and just look at what are these categories of scenarios that were effective over 40%. So all I've done is I've highlighted there, and I can see here on the right, I've got a cross tab of what, in this particular period of time, what are scenarios that are effective. Again, here I've got it sorted in descending order. So at the top, I can see, well, my manually created alerts. Again, this is just sample data, but my manual alerts are the most effective. Uh, but let's look at more realistic examples. So maybe if I'm looking at non-cash activity and looking at structured deposits, I can click a particular record here. And you can see, as I click each line item, I can see the details of the particular alert which fired within that particular scenario description. And again, we're looking at lower volumes here. So within this particular period of time, I can see here that, again, my effect efficacy rate is basically the number of alerts that resulted in a quality investigation divided by the total volume of alerts. And what I can do there from there, if I'm a manager, I can right-click these particular lists of alerts. I can export it. I can uh, take it to a CSV file or Excel file and do some further analysis from there. The next sections of the report basically looks at a different slice of our alert volume, but by year. So, for instance, I can click any one of the years on the on the left-hand side, and you'll see the line graph update on the right. So for example, in 2013, I can actually look at, okay, if I want to click a particular category itself, so for instance, cash activity, I can click cash activity, you can see it highlights all my cash activity scenarios over, over the, uh, the particular months within 2013. If I want to look at uh, loan activity, I can see that fluctuates a little bit. And again, the same concept of if I want to highlight anything in the, in the line graph, I can see my details below. And again, I can right-click and export if I want to, or print a PDF. But let's pretend, again, I'm a manager, and this is great at a high-level, aggregate-level reporting, just getting an understanding of how effective our scenarios are. Let's say I want to look at a particular scenario. What I can do here is go to my Scenario Report tab, and again, it's another way to visualize particular uh, alert volumes, but for a specific scenario cat or actually for a specific scenario so what I can do here is I can adjust my time period and just say okay between January 2013 to the current month how effective is a specific scenario so in here you can see I just got my scenario IDs which again are very cryptic but anybody that works with SAS's anti-money laundering solution will probably recognize any of these so again I can select a particular scenario and visualize the efficacy rates over time. So the bars basically represent the volume of alerts while the green line represents the efficacy rate. So let's say I'm a manager and I just want to print this out and hand this to an executive or a regulator or you know the OCC. What I can do here is I can just click my print icon. I'm going to print to a regular letterhead and I'm only going to print this section of the report, just my scenario report. And let's print. Now we can see here I've got a PDF that I can physically print if I want to, but what it did is it basically provided me a PDF which is the same report we just looked at with some detail below as well as the actual uh, values that we've looked at, the uh, filter values. So again, that's pretty nice. I think it's another great feature of visual analytics.